and welcome back to my channel so for today's video guys we are going to do something fun something i actually haven't done yet on this channel and we're gonna be making birria tacos ah! sorry if i butcher that guys you know i don't speak spanish i try my best so jose was craving some tacos and i was actually wanting to go ahead and make those for him so yesterday we went and got all the ingredients and i'm going to make it because it does take pretty much all day to cook in the crock pot i'm starting at 8 30 in the morning that way it's ready by the time he gets off and it'll cook all day and i can do what i need to do through the do throughout the day <laughs> not have to worry about cooking but when he gets home all i gotta do is fry up those tacos and it'll be ready to eat i'm so excited for them guys it's getting chillier here in florida not freezing it's like 58 right now outside the cooler weather brings more crock pot recipes i guess you could say so for the recipe i actually didn't come up with this recipe myself i when it comes to stuff like this i feel completely lost and i don't even know where to start so i always youtube my recipes and i actually found the recipe art from a channel on youtube and i will link her down below guys she made it so easy very detailed straight to the point gives you everything you need and it's very easy i did go ahead and write the recipe down in my recipe book if you guys know if you've, if you've been keeping up with me i did start a recipe book for the kids when they get older just to have kind of it's kind of like a little family thing that i'm starting i will be going off of her youtube i'm if you're like me i'm a visual learner i don't like to sit and read to figure out what i need to do so i like watching her do it and i will literally follow her step by step so y'all gonna be making the video tacos with me um, like I said, I'll link her video down below and then I'll just pause it and wherever I pause off you guys That's where the next ingredient goes in. Now let's go ahead and get started guys. I'm excited I hope you guys find this interesting. I hope this is something you guys will enjoy If you do end up liking it be sure to like comment Whatever you guys let me know y'all did give me plenty of ideas. So hopefully this will start something. So let's go ahead and Get into it. Okay, this is my crock pot. This is what we'll be using to cook the media tacos in. She calls for beef shank. We're gonna use chuck roast. All we have to do is slice it into not super small pieces, just maybe thirds and brown it. She likes to brown her meat on both sides for maybe a minute and then throw it in the pot. So that's what we're gonna do. I know it looks like a lot of meat and that's because it is, but if y'all know Jose and Ezekiel and sometimes Ava, they can eat. They can eat. So it's a lot, it looks like a lot, but it'll get, all get ate probably by today, honestly. And excuse AJ guys, he's in here eating. So if y'all hear him, he's here. Okay, so next are all the other ingredients. I'll show you guys what I'm adding, how much I'm adding of it.
three because those looked broken. <laughs> okay, she calls for a teaspoon of Mexican oregano. I could not find that, so I just grabbed regular oregano, which should work just fine. So just a teaspoon of this into your mixture. <laughs> Okay, now she calls for just a dash of cinnamon. Next, it calls for ground cloves, and this is super overpowering. The littlest goes a long way, guys. If you like a lot, go for it, but I suggest just maybe even less than what I put for cinnamon. Of the ground cloves, you don't want it to be too much in food, but you want to be just enough that you can taste it. Okay, so this is it right now. We are missing the puree, so we're gonna make that in a just a bit. We're gonna go ahead and set this to high. We're gonna leave it until maybe 10, 11, 12, one, two, three. We'll probably leave it until three because the longer it sits, the more flavor, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and cover it and then we're gonna go ahead and start the puree. In her video, she does add the puree before she adds the rest of the seasonings. But I wanted to make the puree with you guys, so that way y'all can see the step-by-step -step process. She does give a breakdown on it. I'll go ahead and make it so we can do it together. Sorry if y'all can hear the kids. This is the reality of living with kids, <laughs> like being a stay-at-home mom and also YouTubing. This is just the reality of it. You can tell them be quiet all you want. They're not gonna listen to their kids. So, if y'all hear them in the background, I'm sorry, but this is as real as it gets, guys. <laughs> okay, this puree calls for three different types of chilies. We looked at Walmart yesterday. We also looked at the commissary on base. They didn't have any, so we found them. We found them at Publix here in Florida. So you're gonna need the guajillo chilies, a nacho chilies, and pasillo chilies. Again, if I'm butchering those guys, I'm sorry. At this point, y'all should know we cannot speak Spanish. She calls for three guajillo chilies. So we're gonna go ahead, open these up, and de-seed them. That way it's not so spicy. And they should look like this. The big, big chilies. One pasilla chili. One of these bad boys. And just one a nacho chili. And these are the funky looking chilies, but I don't know why they smell like, to me they smell like raisins. Could just be me, but I think they smell like raisins. <laughs> Actually just rinse the chilies now we're gonna throw them in a pot we're gonna let them boil once they boil we're turning off the heat we're gonna let them steep for 20 minutes which means you're just basically leaving it in the pot while it's hot putting the lid on and letting it sit in there for 20 minutes that way they soften so we're gonna go ahead and do that okay guys the chilies are done steeping we're gonna go ahead and throw them in the blender she says that she doesn't add the water from the chilies because it gives um, like an, a bitter aftertaste, which I wouldn't know nothing about that because your girl is just learning. So we're gonna do exactly what she says because I trust her because her food came out bomb the first time I made it. We're gonna just throw all the chilies, ah, throw all the chilies into the blender. So next, she adds one chipotle chili with adobe, 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 adobe sauce on it. It looks like this. It's not this brand that she uses, but still I could find. So we're gonna add just one chili. I do have regular chipotle peppers, but she added the flavor to it, so therefore I wanna add the flavor to it. <laughs> we're gonna just throw that one in there. But then next, all she adds is one cup of water, and that's the puree, guys. Super easy, and then once that's done, she strains it and throws it into the crock pot. Okay. 
Okay, so here it is guys, all done. It's gonna sit in the crock pot for four to six hours on high. We're gonna let it sit as long as we can. That way all that flavor gets soaked in. Okay, so I just realized the chili that she uses for the salsa, I actually don't have it, but I have something similar. And I'm not too sure how spicy these are gonna be. So I'm going to add, I'm probably gonna kick myself in the butt later for this, but I'm gonna add a ghost pepper. A ghost chili? I, I don't know. Guys, I like the burn. I like spicy. Jose probably won't eat this, but I want to give it a try because I've never made it before. So clearly the recipe is not going as she stated it, states it is, but we're going to go ahead and try our own way. So I guess we're just going to throw it in boiling water and see how this goes. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to add about seven of these, take the stems off, take out some of the seeds, and throw them into the pot that I already have boiling. Okay, so the chilies are in. We're gonna let them boil for maybe a minute. And then she turns off the heat and lets them steep again. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. For the salsa, she's also using two Roma tomatoes, but I don't have them. I only have the big ones. So we're gonna use one big tomato. Now she only does one clove of garlic, but I love garlic. So we're gonna do two cloves of garlic with the salsa. And about maybe half an onion. She also adds this into the salsa, which I've never done. So we're gonna go ahead and try it and see how it tastes. She does maybe about, she does maybe about half a teaspoon. So we're gonna do the same. She said she saves half a cup of the water that the chilies were in this time. So we're gonna go ahead, scoop out some water, put the chilies in and give it a good blend. See how it turns out. Okay, also something I've never done before. She preheats a pan and grabs a little bit of the liquid from the crock pot and puts it in the pan and then pours her salsa on it and simmers it. So we're gonna do that. It, look, it looks delicious, so I'm excited to try it. Okay, so this is gonna simmer for five minutes. It's now, guys, it is now 11 o'clock. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's taking me that long because I have children and they have to eat and everything, diapers and everything. So, and then every now and then I'll go ahead and give it a stir. I'm gonna have to keep adding water to it because the meat's sticking out, got a lot in there. And then taste it and if it needs more seasoning, go ahead and do that. And then I'll get back to you guys whenever we get to making the tacos, hopefully. Hopefully I make them right this time. Last time I made them, they would not stay put. I watched her make them again a couple more times, so I'm gonna do it like how she did, and hopefully I can get them to stay, and then that's it. Um, I might make the kids potato tacos. If you don't know what those are, they're the bomb. I already made some homemade mashed potatoes. We have a bowl left of them, so if the birria is too spicy for the kids, I'll go ahead and make some fried up potato tacos, and they'll eat that. I definitely have fun cooking. Cooking is definitely something I love to do. As you can tell, I'm not a pro at it. I'm still learning. So if y'all want more videos like this, definitely let me know. We can try more recipes and give you guys ideas. We do have a few recipes within the family that I could probably put out. We'll definitely see about that. I don't really believe in this is like a secret recipe so you can't have it type of deal. I like to share what we make, that way y'all can taste what we make, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys whenever it's time to make the video. Um, whenever it's time to make the tacos, not the video because it's made, but you know what I mean. Okay, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so Jose just got home and I didn't know if he was coming home because he came home early. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the meat and put um, half of it back in there, that way we can have it with the stew. 
and then start making the tacos. So the meat is all chopped up. We're gonna go ahead and grab the fat. Try to grab some fat from the crock pot to, there we go, to cook our tacos in. Okay, so babe figured out how to not get them to stick. So he's gonna be the one putting the tacos together. It's in the Mexican blood. What can I say? <laughs> Guys, I failed like three times just now. So leave it to the hubby to actually make the tacos. Very, very attractive. Mm -hmm. And I already chopped up the onions, long girl. Here's the rest of the meat for the tacos and limes for the stew. And here are the kids' potato tacos that I was telling you guys about. Just warm up some corn tortilla, add your mashed potatoes, and squish them. And you just fry them up. Alright guys, that's it for this week's video. I hope you all enjoy it. If you do like it, be sure to let us know. Comment down below and like the video. And leave us more ideas of things you'd like to see, things you want us to make. Um, shout out hubby for coming through. <laughs> I really think it's our pan, I don't think it's me. But y'all have a great week. We'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to turn on those notifications so you do know when we post a video, guys. Y'all have a great week. See you in the next video. Bye.